What's up everybody? John from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about how to set any kind of frame that you want, okay, without holding yourself responsible for it. Okay, what do I mean by this? Okay, that's the topic of this video. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. Press the notification bell to be alerted of my new videos five days a week. Okay, so basically, if you think back to what they did in books like the Bible, okay, it's a hardcore reference. And I'm not going to go into, you know, arguments for or against the existence of God or anything like this. But there's a concept that was employed by a lot of these characters in the Bible where an angel came to them in a dream. Okay, and, and this was God's way of communicating with them, supposedly. And the angel would come in the dream or God would come in the dream and say X, Y, Z. And then they'd go forth and be like, X, Y, Z, but it's not me that's saying this. It's God, right? So that they're able to kind of pass, not the blame, but whatever it is, whether it be, uh, you know, favorable for people to hear or, or not favorable, or if people want to object against it, it's not coming from you, it's coming from God. Okay, and no one had access, or the angel or whatever, and no one had access to what was happening in these dreams, okay, to, to prove or disprove. So one cool thing you can do is let's say you have a bunch of girls you're texting back and forth with. Let's say you want to just automatically set a sexual frame, but you don't want to come across like you're trying to be uh, getting something or you don't want to sound creepy or whatever, right? Or you don't know how to like bridge this into the conversation. Try texting a girl, uh, had the most interesting dream last night, wink face, wink face, and then Oh, you're going to be like, I had the most interesting dream about you last night. Wink face, wink face. And the girl's like, really? What happened? And then you can be like, we were having really crazy sex. Like you orgasmed a whole ton. It was like fucking crazy, right? Like we had sex. It seemed like it was going on for like hours. Like it was like some of the best sex I've ever had. Whatever, whatever it may be, right? And now she's thinking about fucking you, right? And it can also lead into a sexual conversation it could also it can also lead into sexting, okay, over text, where you're talking about, you know, what you're gonna do to each other, and you can say, um, you know, without being super corny, but you can say as a joke, you could be like, uh, sometimes dreams come true, ha ha ha, like stupid shit like that, right? But at the very least, you've now planned the idea about the two of you having sex, okay, and why? Because it happened in this dream, but you're not to blame for it, right? You don't control your dreams, and you can say whatever you want, right? You can also say, like, I had a dream, like, you and I had, like, to a fuck buddy, I had a dream, you and I had a threesome, and it was, like, such an amazing experience. We should try this in real life. You're not to blame. It's the, it's the, the dream, okay? That's, like, the, the common theme here. <laughs> and it's, like, a lot, again, a lot, of, a lot of the stuff that I suggest, there's, like, a little bit of, like, white lying going on. I don't consider this a malicious lie. Um... But try experimenting this. Think about what, whatever it is that you want to frame, right? Like say a girl is difficult uh, meeting up. Hey, I had a crazy dream about you last night. What was it? Oh, we finally fucking met up and had drinks and we had a ton of fun. Like too bad you're always fucking flaking in real life. Ha ha ha. Whatever it may be, but it's not like, oh, hey, why won't you go on a date with me? Or hey, I wish we were on a date. I can imagine what a date would be like. Or you must seen the girl in the sexual example. Hey, I can imagine what fucking you would be like. You know, I was thinking, about, like, imagine, contrast, instead of saying I had a dream where we were having all this crazy sex and it was so awesome, contrast that to being like, oh, I was sitting around thinking the other day, like, how awesome it would be to, to fuck the shit out of you. Like, that can work too, but it's going to come from a place of her being, like, possibly, like, what the fuck, right? Because it's coming out of nowhere. Um... So yeah, try this. Another thing you can do in a, in a related concept is like, say you want to reinitiate with a girl, but you don't want to be like losing too much ground, so to speak. Like say you want to text message a girl and you don't want to be like, oh, I was thinking about you and decided to message you or, oh, like, how was your day or, or whatever kind of stupid bullshit where she's like, oh, this guy again, right? Say it's a girl's not responding or whatever. Um, I actually just did this a couple of days ago. I, I said to a girl it was being difficult. I'd already banged her in the past, but then, but then she had a boyfriend and then she was out of that relationship and 
she was being difficult about meeting up and I didn't want to like ask her yet again, like, Hey, what's going on? Like, well, well let's, we should meet. Instead. I was like, Hey, I just met a girl that has the same name as you. Okay. So <laughs> you can, you can like twist this in, in any way. Okay. Hey, what's up? Just met a girl with the same name as you, LOL. And go to a, a quick back and forth. When you, we should meet up when you free. Um, Hey, just saw a girl that totally looks like you. She was actually a little bit cuter because she had a bigger ass. Ha ha ha. Like little stupid shit like that. Okay. So <laughs> the idea here is you can make up something that happened. That was like just part of your, like when you're sleeping and dreaming, you're not directing the dreams. Okay. That's just passively happening to you. And then you can comment on it and use it as a tool to accomplish X or accomplish Y. And it doesn't matter if you actually had a dream about it and it can be more powerful than just saying like, Hey, I think I was thinking about this or, Hey, I was imagining this. And by the same token, when you say you just saw a girl that looks like her, or you just met a girl with the same name, then it's like, you have a reason, like something external again happened, just like the dream happened to you, something in your environment happened to you. And that's also going to an example that she's also going to think like, Oh, who's, who's the other girl she's meeting. I wonder if she's prettier than me, et cetera. And you can make little jokes like, like I'm banging like multiple chicks here with the same name and I'll make jokes like, Hey, met a, a girl with the same name as you. Ha ha ha. Like, like it, it really happens too. Not just as a, as a, <laughs> as a lie, <laughs> but she'll be like, Oh really? And I'll be like, yeah, like, uh, like, after a couple more of you, like the, like the full, like you're, we're going to have to have a group of you like fight, like to see who the one, whatever, like what her name was to see who like the winner, the, like the best one of you will be with that name because I only have like room in my life for one of you. Ha ha ha. Right. And then I'll be like, Oh, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a, a tight race. Like you're all pretty sexy. Ha ha ha. So you can think of, I'm not going to go over like every single possible example, but just try to think of certain things. Like I want to accomplish this frame. I want to accomplish this sexualizing. I want to accomplish this meetup or I want to reinitiate and be creative and think of <laughs> lots of you will probably like comment like, Oh my God, like this is so wrong. All this bullshit. I fucking cut my head today. I was like moving lumber. In Poland, <laughs> it's a long story, but it's kind of cool because my like great grandfather, um, it's like all these hot chicks always walking by. It's awesome. My great grandfather was from Poland. My my one side's Irish, my one side's Polish, and he was like a carpenter, so he was like dealing with wood, <laughs> following his footsteps with the with the morning wood. But no, it was cool, like moving moving wood around this morning. Cause that's probably what he was doing a lot. Uh, yeah. So think of literally anything. Okay. I want to call You could even fucking write it out. Here's the goal I want to accomplish. Here's a potential dream scenario <laughs> that could lead to accomplishing this goal or accomplishing this frame. I'm going to message the chick about it. Plus like chicks like love shit like this. Cause, cause there are a lot of them believe in like astrology and like psychic readings and like the universe, like everything happens for a reason. And like the universe brings you what you, <laughs> what you need in your life and what you deserve and like all this other stupid shit. So when like you have a dream, you can even like make, you can even like play into that part of it and like make the dream a little bit ambiguous. Be like, yeah, you and I were like on the beach, like having a, having a walk and we saw like the most beautiful sunset ever. And like, you looked at me and you were like, this is, my definition of perfect. Like, you know, you can even get, <laughs> you can even get like extremely specific like that. So now she's imagining like romantic, like breathtaking scenarios with you and looking at you as like a possible dream man. <laughs> I mean, this isn't, this is again, just another like tool in the arsenal. It's not like, uh, <laughs> it's not like you really need to, um, like use this shit like all the time. Like it's just another thing. Like it, it's, it's like mostly good for sexualization. Like I use this mostly 
Sorry, I'm, I'm watching out the window. I just saw one of the dudes from fucking stupid Social Prime walking around the street. <clears throat> Social Prime fucking sucks. <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, the situation where I use it the most. Had the craziest dream last night, wink face. And then I talk about how we like had like crazy sex, right? And, and the girl can't be like, fuck you, you're an asshole. Because you're not like, hey, I was thinking about banging the shit out of you. It's, I had a dream about this. It's, you're not to blame. You're not at fault for it. Okay. That, that's what's so powerful about it. Um, that's why I like when I'm always like canceling on fuck buddies or canceling on new dates or rescheduling or whatever, like you can literally get away with anything because what will I say? Oh, sorry. I was on a really important business call. We were trying to close or we were, we were signing on a contract we've been working on for months. The chick isn't gonna be like, fuck you. Right. In an extreme example, which will piss more of you off on immoral grounds. You can say like your grandfather's like in the hospital, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm such a dick, <clears throat> but like that, that literally like, okay, do you want to like lose the girl or do you want to pull it out in a, in a worst case scenario? Because that will keep the girl around. Trust me. Like she's not gonna be like, fuck you, fuck your grandpa. Like you cancel on me for the third time. Like we're done. She's going to say, okay, I understand. Like, let's meet up. Like I feel so bad. All right. <laughs> Anyways, I have a dream. That, that's a shout out to Martin Luther King Jr. All right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. See you next week.